Hello, family. How is everybody doing? I hope that all is well with you. Welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be able to come before you today. If I tell you that God is doing some amazing things right now at this moment, God is speaking and he's speaking so clearly to his children. But is there anybody listening? He's trying to get some things over to us. So it is up to us to have that ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto the church. Once again, it is up to us to hear, to have an ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying unto the church. You know that we are the church. And once again, God is trying to get some things over to his children. I'm not going to be before you long, people of God. I just stopped by to let you know that I heard the Spirit of the Lord say for us not to take down. We are not to take down just to get ahead. He said that the enemy was going to try and come through with some briberies. But you are not to accept it. He said that he is going to make a way. The enemy is going to make it seem like, you know, if you just tell this little bit of lie that you can get ahead and you can get away with it. But the Lord is saying no. And he began to take me to the book of Genesis. And he showed me Sarah and Abraham. And he was showing me how Abraham began to get a little bit fearful as he began to enter into another country. And he told Abimelech that Sarah was his sister. And the Lord is saying for us not to tell a lie just to get ahead. And the word began to show me that God has shut up all the wound because of Sarah. And he began to speak to Abimelech in the dream for him not to touch Sarah. And that is when Abimelech went back to Abraham and he began to ask, what have you done? You told me that she was your sister. And that's when Abraham said that he was afraid because I didn't think y'all was of my kind. And Abimelech began to bless him, give him so many, you know, cattle and everything and begin to send him on his way. But the Lord had spoke to him because he didn't want him to sin against him. He knew his heart. God knows each and every one of our heart. He don't want us to sin against him because sin causes everything to get caught up. And we cannot afford to allow our blessings to get caught up by the enemy. Once again, you cannot afford for your blessings to be caught up because of what the enemy is trying to offer you. We know that God is in control. He sits high and he look low. I know a lot of times you don't understand, but you must continue to rely on the Lord. He's going to make provision. He's going to make a way. So do not get out of line and take no briberies from the enemy. That is the word of the Lord. Amen. Amen.